Hello everyone, Clint here. Hope everyone is doing well today. Today I'm going to talk about my Apple products, uh, specifically my iPhone and my Apple Watch. And I want to dive into a little bit uh, into uh, series shortcuts, my series on um, series shortcuts. And this particular one is going to be the ultimate workout shortcut. Um, I pretty much work out most days and this shortcut really... Uh, helps me out every time I go to the gym. Because when you, if, if you're a technology person and you go to the gym, you're probably like me. So you have a phone, you have a watch, keeping track of your stuff. You got some earbuds in. Uh, you're probably using an app to uh, track your workout. You're probably using your watch to track your workout. Lots of different things going on there. Um, and so, you know, every morning you uh, go to the gym or evening, whatever time you go, uh, you got to uh, do all these things with your, your devices to get even ready to go uh, work out. Um, and so I'm going to show you how you can use Siri shortcuts to significantly shrink all that thought process and that time down um, to where you can just um, push a button and get to working out. My workout routine is probably common to most people's. Um, I do the pretty much um, uh, the same thing every day. Um, and that's, you know, you have to, uh, you know, open up your um, workout app of choice. You've got to set your watch to whatever workout you're going to do that day. You got to get your volume set on your phone so you don't go deaf when your music comes on. Uh, you can then set your music up uh, and you got to open your own music up and uh, select what you're going to start rocking out there. I have an extra step where I start a timer because I do like to time uh, several different things. Then you got to uh, pick the workout you're going to work out in and then now you're ready to go. And all that is a lot of touching the phone here. So I'm going to show you real quick uh, how you can create a shortcut to do all of that stuff for you uh, almost instantly. So let's get started. So let's uh, start with uh, opening the shortcut app. Um, if uh, I'm going to assume you already have the shortcut app on here. Uh, if you don't, I think you have to download it, but it might come on the phone automatically. I don't remember. I've had it since it came out. So. Uh, and then, as you can tell, I have a, a lot of shortcuts. I use the heck out of this. this. is one of the coolest things on an iPhone, if you ask me personally. Um, but that just could be the geek in me. I'm not sure. Hey, we're going to start off by making a brand new uh, shortcut. So we're just going to hit the plus button here. And as you can tell, there is nothing in here. It gives you some uh, suggestions, maybe, if you've, if you've never done a shortcut. Uh, it gives you a shortcut name up here, uh, right there. Uh, you got this little button where you can add some more stuff. We'll get to that here in a minute. And let's just start with the name. Uh, let's just call this workout. Um, so it does, I don't think I have one called workout already. I think my actual one is called um, start workout. And as you can see here, it says, hey Siri, uh, workout, right? And um, so you can actually run this shortcut uh, from Siri uh, or a button. And I'll show you both of those uh, methods. All right, so then uh, it gives you just a blank, just like any other shortcut. We're going to start right from the beginning. And the thing I like to do with the beginning of all of my shortcuts, and that's I like to vibrate. So what we're going to do here is um, add an action. We're going to search for each one of these because there's so many actions now. Um, and then I'm going to put vibrate device right here. And the reason why I like to do the vibrate device is I like to know I, I push the button, right? <laughs> or that Siri heard me and, and, and the actual thing's working. Uh, it kind of ties in a lot to, uh, a lot of my NFC automations. Like when I hit the NFC button and it creates, and it starts to run a shortcut by itself. I like to have that vibrate in here. So I just start it all with a vibrate device so I know that it's going. Okay, then the next thing, and, and these will happen in order. Shortcuts, you know, goes from one thing to the next thing to the next thing, the next thing. So you gotta kind of think about what you want to do now. And the thing I want to start now is my timer app. So as soon as uh, I get to the gym, I want to push this button and I want to um, start the timer for workout. So we are gonna hit another one. Go and search here. Um, my, uh, my, uh, I guess my time tracking app of choice is a tracker. So I can just start uh, doing a search on a tracker. Uh, whoops. And if we can click a tracker here and it'll show you everything that it has here, um, in, uh, that you can add into the, um, Let's, I guess, uh, into the shortcut here. And what we're going to do for this particular one is start a task with parameters. So if we click that and now we have um, the task, uh, now you have these two different things here. Um, 
that's gonna uh, that you need to then enter the information. So start tasks. It's gonna ask you what task you want to start. Okay, that makes pretty much sense. We're gonna start a workout task, um, and that's all it needs to know. And so now it's gonna vibrate the task, uh, start the workout task, and it does that in the background. That's another reason why I like the vibrate device because a lot of shortcuts run in the background. You never even see it happen. It's pretty cool. Just everything just kind of happens, and so you want to you know get that vibration so you know it's actually happening. Okay, so then the next thing I want to do is set my volume uh, so I don't go deaf. Um, so then we just come back down here and we uh, select volume, set volume. So this is going to set the volume on your phone and it's by percentage. Uh, and then you, whatever you're comfortable with, I'm at 70% usually is what I uh, like to start it off at on a workout. And uh, that's it. So what it's going to do is it's going to now um, set the volume on the iPhone itself uh, to 70%. Okay, the next thing we want to do is uh, set up what we're going to actually play, which I play music. You can sit there, you can set this up to uh, podcasts or a book. If you're reading a book or listening to a book, you can set this all up. But uh, I'm going to set this up with music. And so I use Apple Music. So we're just going to hit play because that's what we want to do. Play music. Uh, select the play music one and now we have this blank here where we decide what music we want it to play uh, so you just click that and now you get your kind of a apple music little uh selector here you hit library i'm going to go to the playlist i'm going to rocking and then this little guy up here is how you add it i don't know if you can see that plus button it's kind of hidden here for some reason and then you just hit plus there and now you go back and now you can see we, get, we got the uh, uh rocking it uh playlist all right, we got our music all set up. So now that we're going running. And so what's the next thing we would normally do in session is we're going to set the watch to um, a workout. And we can do that through a uh, playlist. But the same uh, workout every day. Um, so you don't want it to just set up a... Uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the same workout every single time. You want to be able to, if you have specific ones that you want to use, um, you can do that. So depending on the day or the workout that you're doing, uh, you can do that pretty easily. And so we're going to do that right now. What we're going to do is we're going to create, uh, oops, we're going to create a, a menu. Uh, so we're going to choose from a menu and choose from menu with and then th the prompt's going to be what workout so this is going to say hey what workout do you want to do you're going to say okay cool and so let's just do i'm just going to do two for this particular uh demo and i, I think i have uh four or five on mine so we're just going to do the two and so now you have if you notice you have these two lists down here uh, they automatically add one, two, but you can add an item, three, four, five. And now if you notice, you have now one, two, actually, let's go ahead and add uh, three on here, too. Let's go cycle. So let's go weights for number one. I do weights. Weights. Uh, let's say a treadmill. And like cycle. And so then cycle, and then you can add, um, you know, what you can do outdoor runs, whatever, whatever, whatever workout you're gonna you're gonna get ready to do. You can add these in here if you do them. Uh, once you add them once, they're always there. It works out pretty good. Now, as you added those lists on there, you now you can see that we have these specific cycle um, and then end here. So that it, as we added one, they keep going in. So you got a cycle weights, treadmill, all this part here, and then you can move these around if you want to, and if you notice it moves them around here, so however you want to order them. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is, uh, now we want to start a workout in the Apple Watch. So we're gonna hit Apple Watch, and uh, the Apple Watch lets you do uh, set watch face, set current watch face, list uh, watch faces. If you wanted your uh, watch face to change, which uh, I don't do that because you you got the workout thing coming up on the times. But right here, as you can tell right here, we got start workout. And uh, we're going to just grab that. So uh, what did we say this was? Uh, treadmill, right? So the first one's going to be treadmill. Let's click that to all the... Uh, uh, I think it's indoor running, actually, is what the actual... Yep, indoor run. Uh, with an open goal. And now we can just kind of grab that. And we're going to drag that underneath um treadmill and so now uh what this basically is going to do is if you select treadmill it's going to run this part of the shortcut so it's going to do an indoor run open goal 
Um, and then we're gonna just keep doing the same thing. And we're gonna hit start workout. And this one is gonna be, I think it's called strength training or traditional strength training. Open goal on that one. And that one we're gonna drop under here. And we're gonna do the same thing again. So now we're gonna pick uh, indoor cycle, I think is what it's called here, indoor cycle. And we're gonna drop that right there. And now, as you can tell, we have, okay, if we select treadmill, we're gonna do, it's gonna automatically do an indoor run. If we select weights, it's gonna start a traditional strength training workout. If we select cycle, it's gonna do the indoor cycle and then it's gonna end, okay? So this uh, whole part here will finish and there's nothing more uh, for it to do there. So that will get your Apple Watch rolling. Uh, now, the next thing you need to do is, um, well, the next thing I would do, or you would need to do once you get all that going, now you're going to open your workout app, whatever you're going to actually keep your workout app in. Uh, and I, I do this just, um, you know, for strength training or, um, you know, it's, it's nice to log all your workouts. So you know exactly what you did before and know how to progress um, throughout your workout. So uh, the next thing I want to open from there, and this one's going to be really simple. You can just open app. Um, and we're going to open an app and then it's going to ask me what app my workout app of choice is strong. So I'm going to open strong and all that does is open strong. Now you, if you have five, four or five workouts that you can use in, in strong, cause you set up workouts inside the app strong, you can do the same thing that you want to here. So you can, uh, uh instead of opening strong, you can actually, uh, give you another menu. And you can select, uh, you know, chest, legs, um, shoulders, and then associate uh, these with um, with the app. So depending on if your app uh, allows you to add a bunch of stuff, you can do the exact same thing here. Um, and now we're done. I mean, that was pretty much it. So let's go back through real quick. It's going to vibrate the device. It's going to start my, my tracker uh, for a workout. It's going to set the volume to 70%. It's going to start playing the Rocking It playlist. Uh, it's going to pop up what I'm going to work out, and I'm going to select which one I'm going to do, and then it will select that on the Apple Watch. And then in, at the end of that, it's going to start that, open my uh, workout tracking app of choice, and now I can just go from there and I'm ready to work out. As you can tell, that was a lot of steps that would take uh, a little bit of time. And <laughs> if you do use your Apple Watch, you'll notice you'll get like uh, sometimes like 15 minutes into your workout before you realize you forgot to turn the dang Apple Watch on, on a workout itself. So that's super frustrating. I don't know why it's this, uh, you know, data trackers that we like to do. It uh, bugs the heck out of you. But and then that's pretty much it. Now, let's see here. And I think that's it. I think we are completely finished. You can share this with somebody if you want to. I think we are completely finished now and we can just close that out. Now we have this workout action and let's see how it does. All right. So let me get my, my Apple watch on because it won't do anything if it's not on. All right. Let's see what happens here. We're going to hit workout vibrated started the task, set the volume and start playing music. And as you can see, it started playing the music. It's going to ask me which one I want to hit. And let's do weights today. And it's going to get ready. It's almost done. As you can tell, the workout has started on here. And it's started. And we're good to go. And now my strong app is open. And now I can select my workout and get to working out. Uh, so, yeah, that worked out pretty good. There was one little uh, blip there I didn't like. Uh, and so let's see if we can fix that real quick. Uh, if you ever need to go back in here, all you got to do is fix that uh, there. And then um, here it is. So start task workout. So when I started the timer, it popped it up and asked me and then said show when run, when when uh, when it's ran and I had to hit done. If you have that built into your uh, shortcut, it's not going to do the rest of the shortcut until you hit the done button. So all you have to do is shut that off. And that's in that little carrot uh, area right there. And then now you're good to go. So um, let's try that one more time. All right, let's see. Um, let's see how we did there. Uh, let's see if we got this working back the way we want to now. We just clicked the workout um, thing. Now, tell, started playing music. Um, uh, it's going to ask me what workout. We're going to say weights. As you can tell, watch over here now. 
that's already got the traditional strength training. It's going to good. If you notice the strong app open. So all this is happening at one time in the background. You push the button and you pick the workout you want and then you're good to go. So I hope that helps anybody. Uh, I really recommend uh, using these um, shortcuts for, to, for stuff that you do repetitively like that. Uh, it works really great. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. And otherwise, uh, thanks for staying to the end. And I will catch you on the next one.